Hey you guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is gonna be a lipstick video. Today I'm gonna be talking about all the orange toned and brown toned lipsticks that I own. I'm gonna be swatching and reviewing them and then you guys can make your own decision as to what you prefer, what kind of formula you like. And for starters, I just wanna put it out there. I have figured it out for myself that orange toned lipsticks or brown toned lipsticks don't really suit me that well. There are certain tones of orange that I can wear, but I have personally stopped seeking orange toned and brown toned lipsticks lipsticks i prefer something pink more which is something i thought i would never say but here we are let's get started with the first lipstick that i have it's the maybelline superstay matte ink liquid lipstick in the color seeker this is a very famous shade and this was my first proper introduction to orange burnt orange kind of shades this retails for 650 for 5 ml of product it's a orange tone lipstick with brown tones to it and it will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin tones i feel like as deeper the skin tones wear it the more neon it looks like on my skin tone it looks slightly bright but i've seen this worn by a fairer skin tone person and on them it looked like a burnt proper brown tone shade more than orange so yes the deeper you are the more neon this is gonna look on your skin as far as the formulas go you guys know this is one of my favorite formulas to wear when it comes to wear time transfer proof everything like that the only issues that i really have with this particular formula is it never settles down to a matte finish it will always remain slightly tacky and also there is a proper distinction that at liquid lipsticks like here you can properly see where my lip starts and where I have applied the liquid lipstick that is in evident with most liquid lipsticks so this is not particularly at fault and also if you don't apply a proper layer in the outer corners of your lips it's gonna come off slightly it's not gonna come off because the formulation is such that it doesn't flake off but it will kind of lift so in case you're interested in this I would take care of all those things but other than that if you're looking for an orange brown burnt orange kind of color this is the thing that I would highly 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 suggest especially if you are around the medium skin tone on nc42 probably this is gonna look very much a burnt orange shade so if you're interested in that this would be the one that you want to check out next is faces canada weightless matte lipstick in the color natural earth this retails for 2.99 for 4.5 grams of product this is similar to the seeker shade that i mentioned previously but it's less neon so as i mentioned the seeker shade can look a little bit more neon ish well as this i may even classify this as a nude for deeper skin tone people it's a really good brown toned orange shade it looks really nice i feel like if you are into these kind of colors this will suit your skin tone really well no matter what skin tone or what spectrum of skin tone you lie on it's a creamy lipstick formula it has some sheen to it and at this point i don't use it that much because i prefer something like a liquid lipstick to go underneath masks so yeah it doesn't get as much love these days but i feel like if i was just going to college on a daily basis this would definitely get more use but individually the formula is really nice it lasts for a decent amount of time on my lips and typical bullet lipstick things it's gonna come off when you eat something it's gonna fade away but it won't do things like the distinction i feel like it's better when you have a bullet lipstick on the outer corner thing again bullet lipsticks tend to not do that as much on discount you can frequently get this on buy one get one free or somewhere around 150 to 190 rupees and that's when i would suggest you guys to buy it especially if you want to see if these colors suit you or not if you are not sure if warm tones and orange tones suit you this might be a good way to try it just because it's cheaper whatever reason you're buying this for buy it in a sale don't pay full price for this i do enjoy this i wish i could use it a bit more but it is what it is this is the natural earth shade this is seeker in real life they look very similar just natural earth is a bit more new than seeker next is the one that i'm wearing i really like this color it's the nika all day matte 12 hour liquid lipstick it retails for 349 rupees for 2.1 ml of product these are probably the newest lip formula that nika has launched and this is the color dear dog it's a orange but somehow a muted orange with slight hints of red the red doesn't come through that much if anything the red makes it look a little bit more wearable one of the reasons why i do enjoy this is because it doesn't make my teeth look that yellow it's still gonna do it because it's a warm toned lipstick even warm toned reds do it but this i feel like it's the one that does it the least it's such a fresh orange shade that is also not intimidating if you want to try a direct orange instead of a burnt orange with a little less brown in it this would be a good introductory shade you can find a million burnt orange colors but something like this is hard to come across especially for people my skin tone i feel like once you see a swatch of this you wouldn't be directly gravitated towards to buy it but this it was a pleasant surprise it will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin tones further away i feel like you will need a lip liner and i've reviewed this formula in detail but yeah it's a good decent lip color it doesn't suck the moisture 
moisture out of my lips but it's also not moisturizing by any means it's still gonna feel like you have a liquid lipstick on if i have it on and if i talk for a longer duration it's gonna start and flake off a bit once you eat it's gonna come off from the inner portions and then if you like pout or something right now you can't see it but once the inner portions start to come off you're gonna be able to see a proper separation between where the product is applied and where it does not exist anymore so something to be careful about and also like the fact that it's affordable yes i know the quantity is less but i don't mind it i have used it a few times and i feel like it will still last me for a longer duration and again if you are into these kind of oranges but aren't sure if they're gonna suit you this might be a good way to try it get it on sale or something or if you have if you're an ica prime member i think you get a coupon 15 percent or 10 percent off when you buy nika products so get it with that coupon i feel like it might be worth it i really like this color and i tend to actually pick this up very frequently when i'm going outside so yeah enjoyable fun and at the same time not so intimidating next is something i haven't talked about in a while this is a verada beauty liquid lipstick in the color leather lust it retails for 690 rupees for 4 ml of product this is a straight up brown warm tone brown shade i wouldn't really classify this as an orange it will suit every single person on deeper skin tones i feel like it will be a proper nude the formula is nice and comfortable and i do enjoy this there was a time when i really liked these liquid lipsticks but one of the cons now is that it does transfer slightly not too much but i still prefer something that does not transfer at all especially because if you have a mask on for a really long time and now with another variant you want to ensure that it's very tight on your face so even if you move your lips and you talk a bit it's bound to smear even if your lips aren't touching your mask directly but then again on the pro side it's not drying at all so for dry lips people this might be a good choice i got this for 690 but then nowadays they go on 50 percent off sometimes i've seen that happen quite a lot and this is a liquid lipstick that i like to keep on to mix in and the formula actually goes well along with other liquid lipsticks too because it's not too drying so if you feel like something is a little bit too nude for you or something it's a little too bright for you just add this on it will add some brown tones to it the formula is nice it doesn't stay on as much as the drying liquid lipsticks the ones that properly mattify ones stay on but it still lasts more than a bullet lipstick and that is already a pro in my books if you're looking for a warm tone proper brown this might be the one that you want to try so this is the nika dear dog shade as you can see it's more orange and it doesn't have that much brown as compared to these two and this is the leather lust by verala beauty play on a very similar spectrum but they are very different next i'm moving slightly away from the more proper orange and proper browns and we are gonna go into the territory where it has orange and slight peachy coral tones to it the first one is amazonian it's again the super stay matte ink liquid lipstick and this is the one that i would straight up say it's a nude it's a very neutral tone nude even if it's warm it doesn't look that warm on your lips this will properly suit fair to medium skin tones even medium deep where i lie i feel like i need a lip liner at times sometimes i can wear it just like that but most times i feel like i need to mix in with another lipstick but if this color suits you i feel like it's a good one to own again something that can just make your lipsticks look nude and i know this doesn't properly fit into the orange and brown categories but if the natural earth shade by faces canada was to be lightened a lot you'll probably get this one it doesn't have that heavy brown or orange at all but it's a very safe color to wear and i do enjoy it but if you're looking for orange tones and brown tones this might not be your first choice this is the amazonian color again as i said if you lighten the natural earth color by faces canada will probably reach here next is another nude but i don't think medium and deep skin are gonna suit this at all it's the maybelline sensational liquid lipsticks in the color nu01 wear it all and this it's a nude for lighter skin toned people but i still feel like it falls more on the orange peachy side that's why i'm mentioning it briefly i don't want to go too much in detail but it's a good liquid lipstick for the price that you're paying especially if you get it in the sachets it's slightly peachy slightly orange so i just wanted to mention it a bit and in the same range there is nu02 strip it off color it lays more into the orange and coral categories this is something i can still wear if i apply a proper lip line and then blot it on my lips it looks really pretty and the color is very stunning so i try to use it as a blush and it works sometimes so i do like owning this color and it's like the dear dog shade just a lighter version this is the nu01 shade this is bear it all this is strip it off and this is the 
Dear Doc shade. So Dear Doc is a darker version of this and bear it all compared to Amazonian. It's a little lighter. It's a lot lighter and will only suit certain skin tones. So yeah, those are all the brown toned, orange toned, peachy toned lipsticks that I own. Hope you guys found this helpful. Hope you guys could figure out if you want this color on yourself. And if you ever looking for product suggestions in this color family, I hope you guys found something. So yeah, that is it. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do with reds and pinks too because now I have accumulated quite a few and figured out what things i like on me and what things i don't like let me know if you want those videos i would be very happy to make them and yeah that is it once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye